welcome back to another vlogmas video with Rushalyn. I'm so excited for this season. I love Christmas and I love just, you know, just every little thing. Today, as the title suggests, I will be decorating my Christmas tree. And I have some blue bolts. <laughs> so last year I did, I think it was rose gold rose gold yes it was rose gold decor i'm not the best christmas tree decorator but this year i'm saying i'm gonna try to come out a little stronger so i bought some blue balls to go with the rose gold and i'm gonna see how we can make it look nice right you guys would have seen a video before this where i went shopping for the decor and now we're gonna decorate because it's almost christmas all right so if you're interested in seeing how i decorate my tree then continue to watch let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go this tree this tree i had it no i've had it now for two years john was done may i go on you know here go ahead and all right before even the tree let's see where i'm going to start from I don't have a, a traditional Christmas tree skirting because I just didn't buy one. But what I have is a fluffy rug. And as you can see from even this rug, I love fluff and fur and all of those things, right? They're all over, literally. So I have this white one that I'm gonna use as the Christmas tree skirting. Um, I'm hoping that it resembles snow. <laughs> They can be looked at it as snow, I don't know. Oh my god, I forgot to buy the thing to spray paint the tree white. So, I can either put it on this side so that the tree can stand firm or put it on this side. I don't know. I don't want the tree messing up the place. So it's actually a good thing that I'll have, you know, my like a makeshift skirting. But I don't know, which one look like snow? Guys, what do you think? The flat look good too. Like the, this side, right? And then I can always like get it up and still have the fur, yeah flat it is so I'm gonna put it here like so right and then I'm gonna have the tree foot you know say I don't really remember how to do it but I'm going to try to remember all right so first things first so I need to put on the base of the tree but the tree stand has these things on it. Yeah, I remember having to screw this out, right? And then put in the base and then screw it on. The problem is now, which one is the base? Look like this. See what eh? No, mom, but we're standing already. Mister, if that tree ever dropped down. Are you guys celebrating Christmas this year? Or will you be putting up a tree? And if you'll be putting up a tree, what color tree will you be putting up? This tree I got two years ago in Azans. That's the one in Crossroads. And you would have seen in the vlog, yesterday's vlog, where I went to Azans to look for the decoration and they had the same tree for the same price and the tree the, the, the trees in there are actually affordable there three thousand something dollars upwards right and i think the most expensive i signed there was eleven thousand dollar which is really affordable compared to the same size tree that i see in other stores for like double and triple the money so it's not sponsored by them or anything but just letting you guys know if you're looking for an affordable tree this tree is not very tall yet i think me and the tree are the same height when we finally pull it out 
So I'm gonna stack. All right, I think I did it wrong. You know something I feel like I don't want to add the base? All right, I mean, I remember if the tree came with instructions, because if it did, I don't have those anymore. So let's try again. But how hard can it be to fix up a tree? All right, let's try this one. I think this one is the best. Yeah, that one went right into the hole. The other one didn't quite go into the hole. It kind of just rested on the top. All right. And you see now, when you have the, when you start putting the tree now, you have to make it wide now. You have to, you know, make it start to look like tree. You know, I did want a bigger tree this year, but I never want to spend the money on it. Just to be real with it. <laughs> All right, so this tree, you know, this part feel like it fit right into the thing. And we're gonna start to open it up. All right, and then this now is the top. The same thing I said, me and the tree are the same height. <laughs> so now that the tree is up, you know, I need to just fluff it up. Open them out. I should try to have a little more fluff though. It's not fluffy. Fluffy never, you know? Alright, and then now, you see? My little skirting is working. So now I can fluff up this a little more, a little more snowy. Yes! Yes, now we can make this definitely look like snow now. See with there. Can't talk to it. Now we that. Oh, this is some of my decoration from last year. Look at God. I didn't take them off. I was too lazy, so I'm halfway decorated. You know, I didn't have a lot of things, so I just tied some string on it. <laughs> I told you, I gave you guys a disclaimer from the beginning that I'm not the best Christmas tree decorator but I'm gonna try a thing right and then now lights should I put the lights first or last no the balls first and then the lights after the lights first and then the balls after these I got yesterday at Azan's and these were 200 and something dollars I think so these are supposed to be blue you know when I bought these I did not test them I don't even know if they're, they're um, working some trust I have let's see they are the blue and a strong blue light So now to load on the stuff and the tree now. So rose gold and blue it is.
Some of them don't have no string. Because, I don't know, me and the string them wore last year. So some of them are just going to push on on the branch to get it to work. And while some have these things, so instead of using a string, baby girl is going to just push it through like that. Ain't nobody got time for strings. No strings attached. You know, I should open up some of the blue ones to start mixing it. I'm focusing on decorating the front because nobody's seen the back. After I decorate the front, then we'll focus on the back. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize I had all of these things. So I just go put in the tree. Hey, remember last year, the man, my tree did look hungry and malnourished. No, no, my tree looking better than it has ever looked before. <laughs> Because I know it's not the greatest. But you know, it's the effort that counts. I'm not the best Christmas tree decorator, but I think I did fairly well. What do you guys think? And I also wanted it to have some kind of a snowy look. So you'd see some of the branches are a little white. <laughs> what I did is I wanted to buy the canned snow spray, but I couldn't find it. And Amazon is taking a little bit too long. But so <laughs> funny story. I had some paint that I used to paint the wall. And I had some leftover, so I just took it and just kind of sprinkled it all over the tree, and it gave me the look of snowy look. So I really didn't have to spend the money, even though I probably still will. But this is it. Make I'm alright. We're blue, 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 blue. <laughs> Let me know how I did. Let me know if you like it, and if you did, or even if you didn't, leave a comment under the video let me know will you be decorating this christmas are you feeling the christmas spirit and the christmas vibes i know we've had a heck of a year so i think it's important that we try and make the effort to you know make ourselves happy and jazz up and festive and all of that so will you be doing that and if so what colors will you be going with let me know in the comment section below remember to like share comment subscribe and remember it's vlogmas so we're vlogging every day until december 25th christmas you know i'm gonna try to see how best i can post every day but no promises but we're doing it we tried thank you guys so much for being here and i'll see you in tomorrow's video Bye.